Are we up to speed? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Well, we love your new approach with this new album. Thank it's, you. it's great. It's not Thank the Whitney you. Renew, and it's, it's absolutely <laughs> fantastic. Um, what made you take this new, new avenue? What made me take this new avenue, because there's a new breed of music out there, man. It's called hip-hop, and it's taking over the place. It's bottom line, you know? Um, you got to be in it to win it, you know what I mean? Um, it was great to work with people who, um, who 10 years, 15 years thought about, God, who, we, we're never going to make it, you know what I mean? These kids, um, it came up, man, and they worked hard, you know? I, I remember Rodney Jerkins... You know, story, Clive told me. He was there when he was 16. He came with a record. Clive said, no good. 17, no good. 18, 19, no good. 21. It took him to get a record. He was wanting to get to me, you know? Mm -hmm. He wanted to write for me. That was his first project, wanting to write for me. And he finally came up with It's Not Right, and Clive called me and said, I got the perfect song for you, if you want to do it, you know? But these are the people that I wanted to work with, Missy, Rodney, you know, Wyclef, Lauren. I wanted to do that. You listen a lot to their music. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know their music very well. It's like I, I know the scene, I hear the music, I know who's hot and who's not. I know who's the best in their field. I know, who, I know the, the ones who, put, who practice at their craft and not just want to make an overnight success hit. Yeah. So, so that's your kind of music? Yeah. Yeah? Who else do you like listening to? I like to listen to gospel. I'm a gospel hearer. I like to hear words of meaning and of sweet melodies, sometimes very pulsating, very hard, very driven, very, you know what I mean? You get all of that in gospel. You don't miss anything, you know? You get your soft, you get your hard, you get your medium, you get your rock, you get everything, you get it all. And you've come somewhere else totally differently now and it works so well. Thank we really you. Like <laughs> um, how did you get along with all these people, you know, you've been working with, you know, you're working with Lauren Hill and uh, oh, other man. people. There's a lot of yeah. creative ideas yeah. out there. Well, I, I got along with them very well. Um, Lauren and I have known each other for some time. Lauren and I are both from New Jersey. We're both born and bred in New Jersey. Um, I've known Lauren since she was about 16. But um, Wyclef I'd never met. As a matter of fact, he wanted to be in on the project. It was something he was... He was in Clive's office for a whole other reason, and Clive played him some tracks of mine. He said, I gotta be an honest project. And he sent, My Love Is Your Love, and I flipped. Great track, great song, great meaning. Um, Missy, I loved her work that she did with Aaliyah. I happened to be an Aaliyah fan. I love her voice, and I, think, I thought the songs she was singing were just perfect. I thought they were just great for the new breed of music that, that came in and took over, you know? And I thought, Missy's bad, and she is. She's so bad. She is so bad. Uh, she really is. <laughs> um, Rodney, again, he's, he's a musical genius. This, this man can play classical music. He plays classical. If you listen to the music that he did on me, you can hear it. He strings and he's piano and his whole family plays piano. They've all taken like eight, nine years of classical. They all play the piano and they all sing. You know, I've been down to church in Atlantic City. It's like, I became friends with these people. It just wasn't about going in and doing a song and working and, you know, producing, singer. It was like, I, I wanted to get to know them, and they wanted to get to know me so we could feel each other. So when they went and they would write something for me, they would write from, for me, from my heart, you know. So. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. Um, how would you just describe the feel and the sound of My Love Is Your Love? I, I'm looking for something, you I, know, on the reggae thing here. Oh. If you could maybe mention a little of my question okay. in that. I would describe my love is your love as my island. I call it my island song. It's my island song. It's my brothers and sisters on the island, you know. Um, but it's a very deep song. I mean, if tomorrow is Judgment Day and I'm standing on the front line and the Lord asks me what I do with my life, I will say I spent it with you. That's, that, that first line just, just takes me, you know. First phrase right there, just to carry me away, you know. I mean, it's spiritual. It's 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 human, you know. But it, it touches both levels. I thought it was just a fabulous, great song to sing, you know. And I let me know your favorite Whitney Houston song in the comments. Hey, I, clap. I said, what made you want to write this song, you know? And he said, you. He said, you. Yeah, I want. I wrote it for you. I was on the bus traveling on a tour and he said and I just this song is Whitney he said he just started playing it and he started writing it and he said this song I've been holding for you 
No. And you didn't know him beforehand? Not at all. Wow. That's good. I, I think it's our relationship for him to come from church. He's a preacher's kid. For me to come from church, I'm a minister of music's kid. It was just a connection, and we felt it, and that was it. It's, it's, it's got a lot of personal meaning for you, obviously. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. It does. Excellent, yeah. Have you ever thought of um, going in the sort of direction of producing? You've done so many things in the past. You know, this thing about producing is, is really a strange thing because, you know, you see people's names and you say, okay, this person produced this record, when in fact, when I step into a studio and I put my vocal down on something, that's my production. That's me. Nobody tells me what to sing or how to sing it. I basically, I hear the song, I hear a demo, and I go, okay, I know what I'm doing now. I go in there, and from what the producers put on track, as far as music is concerned, I vocally produce me. As a matter of fact, I did a lot of, like, stuff on this album. I was like, okay, David, David, I was like, David, I want you to put some Chicago horns on I Learned From The Best. He's, he's Chicago man. He did all those hits and all those great songs with Chicago. And I just felt like there was something there that I said, mm, it's got to be stronger. I said, David, put Chicago horns on it. And he said, you know, I never thought about that. And he put it on there, and it was like, it's classic. Excellent. It's Excellent. classic, you Excellent. know. I called Lauren. I said, Lauren, I want to do I Was Made to Love Him. I said, I want you to flip the groove. And she did. And she came up with this fantastic groove. While we're on the phone, she's eight months pregnant, and she's got a, another kid grabbing on her leg, and we're doing the song over the phone. The next day, two days, she came up with the track. I it was just, you know, she's great. She's great. You've got a lot, a lot of great people to work with. Yeah, I um, did. I they, was really fortunate. They come to you, essentially, do they? Well, I asked. I asked Clive. I said, I, I want to work with Missy. See, Missy wants to work with me. Um, Rodney, I knew it because I, 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 I had heard through the grapevine that Rodney's whole intention for ever getting into music business was to write for Whitney. Bless his heart. And, well, I knew I wanted to work with David. I, I, I knew that David and Face and I, we were like old family kind of thing, but the... The newer generation of young producers I wanted to tap into, and that was Missy and Wyclef and Rodney, for the most part, and Lauren. And they, I was so pleasantly surprised, but, and, but so elated, that these young, young people, African Americans, are so diligent and so prepared. Let me know in the comments, out of all the musicians, who would you have loved to see Whitney Houston work with? And so so correct and so strong in their music and their convictions. It made me proud to be, to be with them, really. I'm very proud of them all. I, I did pretty good in my career. <laughs> I did good. <laughs> yeah. was, it, was, it, um, was it your decision to release this particular track as a, as a single? My Love? Yes. It was my decision to say yes, that it was the third single. <laughs> Five said, what do you think? My Love Is Your Love is a good single for the... N yeah, I, I think you're right. It comes up behind. Um, we test everything, basically, you know, see what the market feels like. And after It's Not Right, It's Okay, My Love Is your, your Love came up the hottest track on the album. So, that's next. You mentioned Clive a lot, um, just so our viewers know who he is. Could you just Clive? describe... Uh, oh, Clive. Saying Clive is... To all the viewers who don't know who Clive Davis is, he's the... President of Arista Records, and I call him my, my, my industry dad. He's my industry father. <laughs> <laughs> how, how long have you been with Clive? Is it from the start? 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, Oh, my oh. previous favorite was uh, Saving All My Love For You. Bless your heart. <laughs> Lots of uh, good memories with that one. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Do, do you have a favorite track from the album? I do. Uh, could, could you say um, my favorite track? My from the favorite album? track? No. no, I'm only kidding. <laughs> my favorite track, I feel this is my favorite track. I, I have, there's a few, but there's one that I really love most. And it's, I'm, so, I'm sorry, Whitney. Could you say from the album? All right. From the album, my favorite track is You'll Never Stand Alone. It's just one of those songs that, excuse me, makes me think of love in its purest form to my child, 
there were so many things that went through my mind when I was recording this song. And I, I just can remember stressing that day so hard because it was like, oh, I got to get this album in. And there were so many other things, you know, your personal and your, and your, your business life sometimes cut like this, you know. So I was stressing that day and I remember sitting there crying and thinking, I'm, Chrissy's never going through this. I'm just thinking she'll never have to go through this bull crap. Never, ever, ever. And I went and I said, Face, play the track. And I just went and I just sang it. And I just remember the passion. I mean, I must have recorded it maybe three times. If I did it that many times. And Face said, that's enough, we did it. Excellent. Mm -hmm. um, moving on, five now, is it? Okay. Um, moving on to uh, other areas you're involved in. Um, you've mm -hmm. been producing recently. Yeah. Um, <laughs> can you tell me a little bit about that? In terms of music or movies? Um, no, in sort of movies. and You've been doing TV television? producing, haven't mm -hmm. you? Yes. I, That's I, a tough game. Yes, it is. <laughs> it is. It, it, you know what the toughest part is to actually get your project off the ground? I'm, so, I'm sorry. Could, could you say I've been producing? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've, I've been producing um, a few things over the years. Um, my first stab at producing, it was, I went for the big market. I went for TV. Never mind just a little record. I, I went for the big gusto, right? Oh, my God, what did I do that for? Rewarding, very rewarding, but very hard. I mean, we had Cinderella for four years, and it took us four years to get it off the ground, to get a multiracial cast that we wanted. We wanted African Americans, we wanted Asians, we wanted Caucasians, we wanted this, we wanted that. And everybody thought, like, you know, this is a dream, you know? I said, no, it's not. And believe me, I, it's going to work. I know it's going to work. So they finally gave us the money. We put put the production on. Highly watched. What was it? The most watched television special in over 17 years. And Brandy was involved with that. Yes, she was. I chose Brand for the part. I, I I was supposed to be Cinderella, but I didn't feel like Cinderella after, you know, all these years. I was like, oh well, you know, <laughs> I got a baby and I'm I'm married. I mean, I, <laughs> Cinderella days for me is on. I I felt like I was more the fairy godmother role. <laughs> You know, plus Brandon and I had that kind of relationship, you know. And um, it was just right because she was that young, that youth that I was at 19, 18, who was raring to go. Oh, yeah, I want to go. Oh, you know, yeah. About the movie that she's speaking about. She could do it. She had the energy. I didn't, you know, I don't have that kind of energy anymore to do that kind of work. But um, Fairy Godmother was my role. I was all right with that, <laughs> yeah. Do you have any films um, planned for the future, uh, either producing or acting in them? Yes, I do have some films in mind for the future. And um, <laughs> Will Smith and I are planning on doing a movie next year with my husband and Mike and his wife and his company. We're both going to produce it together. So it's a really like, big project, you know, Universal's going to do it. And... Um, Right now, Will's in the room with the writers right now, getting it down to science. So, yeah, hopefully next year we'll do production on it. Music, film, television, you've done so much. Anything yeah. else that's next? What's left? I just left? want a baby boy. <laughs> that's what I'm working on, my son. <laughs> Great answer. That was fabulous. Thank you. Can we just do these items now? Sure. And then I'll be sure. out of here. Um, there we go. Thank you. Oh, okay. Um, this is to introduce this feature we've just... Thank oh, you. That's a lot of words. Uh, hi there, uh, Pepsi Chart. That's yeah, the name yeah, of my yeah. show. Hi there, Pepsi Chart. Sorry I can be with you, but coming up is my new single. Okay. All right. Yeah. All right. Here thank we go. You. Hi there, Pepsi Chart. I'm sorry I can't be with you, but coming up is my new single, My Love Is Your Love. Watch it. Or listen. Is it uh, listening? Watch it. No, watch oh, it. Oh, watch it? TV okay. Show. So I said right, huh? Uh, once more. You want to do it again? Mind, yeah. Okay. Okay. Hi there, Pepsi Chart. Mm, one more time. Hi there, Pepsi Chart. I'm sorry I couldn't be with you, but my new single's coming up, My Love Is Your Love, so watch it. That's lovely. And just that last one. All right. Uh, this is that was my new one. Closing feature. Link. That was my new one. Hope you liked it, but that's all for me now. Okay. That was my new one. I hoped you liked it. One more time. That was my new one. I hoped you liked it. Um, that's all for me from now. Whitney Houston, Pepsi Chart, New Jersey. Peace. Great. Can I just get one more on that one? Just because you're looking down, it'll okay. look better. That was my new one. I hope you liked it. But that's all for me from now. Whitney Houston, Pepsi Chart, New Jersey.
Fantastic. Thank you very You're much. You're welcome. I'm really grateful. Thank All you. All right, let's do this next. Thoughts about Whitney Houston in the comments below, as well as have you ever heard of a movie that was uh, either uh, featuring or producing uh, by Whitney Houston and Will Smith?